The mod for Incredibox Sprunky has already spawned quite a few alternative stories, but most of them don't stand out much from the original. Some mods might seem scarier, while others include additional easter eggs. But is there a story where everything literally switches places? The new mod for Sprunky, at first glance, doesn't seem to have changed much. However, look at the icons. They already hint at new or altered characters. Even their arrangement is slightly different from before. These are essentially new characters. So let's start with the first one. This seems to be Ratty, who has transformed into a dragon. He kept his personality but grew horns, large ears, and small wings. Judging by his demeanor, his serious and grumpy nature hasn't changed much, staying true to the canon. As for the altered Orin, he's now more cheerful. Though he hasn't drastically changed, his antennae were swapped for ears. Then there's Garnold, or rather, a mix of Garnold and Clucker. These Sprunky weren't given official names, so we're left to guess based on their appearance. Let's stick with calling him Gold, or if we want to follow tradition, Garnold works too. Mr. Fun Computer has decided to start making beats. Just listen to how he raps. It's pure music for the ears. I believe this is Lime, the very Owax we know as the crazy one, though he doesn't seem so unhinged anymore. Maybe he's turned into something like Venaria and now makes her signature sounds. It's hard to pin down exactly, but I'd wager that in this universe, Lime remains a boy with flowers on his head, of course. After all, he does have a plant growing inside him. Venaria had something similar growing on her head in the original, and it eventually played a role. And here we have the main culprit of the bloody celebration, Wenda. Look at those cool earrings. Honestly, this look suits her even better. The cheerful Wenda is, of course, gorgeous, but here she's more of a mysterious woman. And as we can hear, she either replaces or mimics Grey because she makes exactly the same sounds. In this version, it doesn't seem like Wenda is the killer at all. Next up is Simon, who now appears to be mimicking Brud, right down to growing a small horn on his head. In this alternate reality, Simon is portrayed as the dumbest of the group, which creates an ironic twist. Especially considering that in the original story, Simon famously bit off part of Brud's body. It feels as if their roles have been completely reversed here, but we'll get a clearer picture of this dynamic as events unfold. Now we have Clucker, and it seems he's producing entirely new sounds, which makes it obvious that he's not just a creature in a costume, but a full-fledged robot. Or at least, that's the impression we're left with. Then again, who can be certain? Interestingly, his design draws a slight resemblance to Bender from Futurama, which adds an extra layer of intrigue. Moving on, we see our beloved Veneria, who's undergone some subtle changes as well. It's almost as if she's been indulging in far too much coffee lately. Her current look suggests that she's not simply hosting any random plant inside her, but one directly connected to coffee, perhaps symbolically intertwining her character with its influence. Finally, there's Pinky, who seems to have stepped in as a replacement for Sky. There's an air of mystery surrounding Pinky's identity. It's hard to determine if this character is meant to be a boy or a girl. However, the presence of bows makes it tempting to lean toward the assumption that Pinky is a girl, though it's open to interpretation. The next character is Luna, though ironically, he looks more like Jupiter than anything lunar. It seems Luna has stepped in to replace his cousin, who is either out sick or simply couldn't make it into this mod. The switch feels like a stand-in, but it adds an interesting twist. Next we have Durple, who has now been swapped with Tunner. I must admit, the new design is quite impressive. It's sleek and creative, making the transformation feel deliberate and polished. And then what's this? A mushroom. Honestly, I didn't expect to see one pop up in this mod, but it's a pleasant surprise and adds a quirky touch to the lineup. Now let's talk about Brood. He's had some noticeable changes and now resembles Simon from the original story much more closely. The dynamic between them is entertaining though it's tough to decide who's the bigger idiot. Regardless, it's nice to see Brud with some company for a change. As for Tunner, who was formerly Durple, he's been merged with his counterpart, creating an entirely new look. The design choice feels intentional, making the fusion both intriguing and satisfying. Funbot is up next, stepping in to replace Mr. Fun Computer. It's a seamless swap that feels refreshing without being jarring. Finally, Grey has returned after what feels like forever. It's nostalgic to see him again. However, he's now mimicking Wenda's behavior. And while it's undeniably adorable, there's something unsettling about it too. Sky, on the other hand, remains unchanged, at least in appearance. However, he's taken to singing Pinky's song now, which adds a strange, eerie layer to his presence. There's something unsettling about him this time, a vibe that wasn't there before. It feels ominous, yet intriguing. But for now, 
Let's push forward and see what else this mod has to offer. Oh, what's this? Black, have you truly transformed into a kind soul? My dear, you've always been a rather gloomy character, but perhaps there's more to you than shadows and despair. Let's take a different approach this time. Since Black missed out on singing in the original choir, why not let him shine in this version? Picture him joining the other characters in a serene, harmonious setting. No darkness, no doom, just camaraderie. This could be his moment to fulfill a long-lost dream in this alternate universe. A small yet meaningful gift he surely deserves. Now let's turn our attention to Jevin. Wait a second, what's hiding under that hood? Oh no, is that Jevin in blue? And look closely. There's a subtle yet chilling nod in the icon to the ominous notice found on the dark tree. How exactly is this tree connected to Jevin? It feels as though Black Jevin and the tree have been entwined into one unsettling entity. This nightmarish version captures the essence of their original form's nightmare states, but there's a distinct shift here. It's as if the roles have been swapped, creating a disorienting yet fascinating dynamic. Still, fun computer remains stylish. First a cap, now a hat. Fashion never dies. As for Venaria, she seems to be in a really bad state. While not much distinguishes her from the original, she still looks and sounds far creepier. Hang in there, it'll all be over soon. And Simon? Well, turns out he did bite into Brud's brain, but don't worry, it didn't affect the brain itself. So Simon is alive and well, even in this universe. Now let's check on Pinky. Oh no, it looks like something's in her eye. Honestly, what they did to Pinky here is worse than expected. Her eye twitches, and it's clear she's been stabbed in every possible place. And Luna, what's going on here? One character has something stuck in her eye, but Luna? She now has a dazzling smile with eyes in her mouth. This mod clearly has an obsession with eyes, doesn't it? Finally, we come to Tunner. Dear Tunner, how are you holding up? You're not looking so great, are you, Tunner? Let's check on Brud next. Oh no, what happened to him this time? Unlike the original, he looks utterly devastated and sad here. As for Durpal, he met the same tragic end as in the original. Shot, his horns broken. It's just so heartbreaking. Funbot tells us to get out of here, and honestly, we've heard that before plenty of times. But this time, it's different. He's been severely damaged. His screen is shattered and his jaw is ripped off. It's hard not to feel sorry for him here. And this is all you're doing, isn't it, you sneaky gray pest? I know you're a cat, but look at the chaos you've caused. Having fun, are you? Now imagine if the insane gray from this mod met the original Wenda. I bet they'd have a lot in common. And what about Sky? Well, he's had his face torn off. And if such horrors have befallen everyone else, I can't even imagine what happened to Black. Surprisingly though, nothing happened to him here, just like in the original. But unlike Jevin, Black seems genuinely concerned for his friends and what's happened to them. So, what do you think of this mod with its alternate storyline? Leave your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.